Hey everyone, and welcome back to another post from r slash am I the booty hole. The subreddit where people post scenarios and commenters get to decide who's at fault. Today's post, am I the booty hole for not speaking to my parents again after they put my cat down? For context, I'm 28 and the vet's office is literally 10 minutes away. I had my parents take my cat because I have two herniated discs and can't carry the carrier and open the multiple doors and hold the carrier without fear of dropping it. I thought he had a little cold, with the only reasoning being that his ears felt a little warm. He wasn't eating as much as he normally does, and he was due for his shots anyway. So I cooked dinner for all of us while they took him to the vet on my dime. I called them after an hour and asked how things were going, and my father told me everything was good and he had a little fever. Fast forward another hour. They come back and let themselves in, and I open the door to my mother sobbing and my father slinking in the corner. Turns out, the vet found a large mass on his kidney and suspected it was stage 3 to 4 cancer. So my parents, without calling me, had him put down to spare my feelings. I told them both to leave and that I never wanted to speak to them again, that it wasn't their decision to make and they should have called and told me the situation so I could at the very least say goodbye and be with him. That by failing to tell me, they stole an opportunity for any closure I could have. I raised that cat from a feral kitten with his mother and his brother from the time he had his eyes open. He was only 10 years old. I'm equally heartbroken and furious that they can't seem to understand why. They proceeded to berate and belittle me, going as far as to say I wasn't sad, just angry, and that I was ruining a beautiful and tragic moment, and that it was my fault because I didn't go with them. Am I the booty hole here? Not the booty hole. Do they often take your circumstances as an excuse to misbehave emotionally? I'd actually recommend calling the vet and making sure that they're being honest that A. The cat was put down and B. It's for the reason they said it was. It is pretty weird to diagnose a cat with kidney cancer during a walk-in appointment, even if you're there an hour or two. Apparently, they took an x-ray and did blood work from what they said. I would have had them do more tests to make sure it wasn't an abscess or something benign. A higher white cell count could easily be explained as part of an infection or virus with the fever. Just thinking about the whole situation just makes my blood boil more than it already is. Not the booty hole. It's bad enough. Gigantic booty hole behavior to put down your daughter's pet without telling her first when it was entirely possible to ensure she, you know, you OP, had the opportunity to say goodbye first. But then to berate you for being upset with them and they refuse to apologize? They can go screw themselves. I never speak with them again either. It requires so little common sense to comprehend this that I genuinely wonder if either of your parents have a mental illness. I just can't think of any other reasonable explanation for behaving in such an unintelligent manner. It's just so stupid, it's hard to comprehend. Besides the parents being 100% the booty holes, I'd be furious at the vet for not confirming with me, the owner, on what my intentions are. Just because the parents brought the cat in doesn't mean it's theirs. OP not the booty hole. Everyone else is a MASSIVE booty hole. Yeah, it seems like they expected an emotional reaction, but not this one. They wanted her to shed a tear and thank them for being the ones to generously share her cat's last moments when she was unable to. It seems like they wanted to steal her emotions, like 
Maybe they think OP is not expressive and open enough with them, so they inserted themselves into her relationship with her pet in order to feel some sort of connection with her, which, needless to say, is psycho. A beautiful and tragic moment? What the actual F? Screw them. Don't talk to them until they apologize for not informing you. That was not their cat. That was your pet and family and screw them. Right? That part was particularly disturbing to me. It makes it seem like they did this intentionally to... I honestly don't know what they intended, what to do other than hurt their own daughter. Not the booty hole. It sounded like he wasn't in so much pain, he had to be put down immediately. There's no reason they should have made that call. I would be furious too, along with my heartbreak. I'm sorry you had to lose your pal in such a horrible way. It's actually pretty well understood that animals try to hide their pain as a survival instinct. So once you actually see their pain, things are far worse than you think. What pisses me off the most is knowing that her cat's last moment might have been looking for her. I know if one of my two cats ever had to be put down, I will be there through the very end. I want them to know that I always love them. It would never willingly leave them alone. I need to go hug my cats now. And that's going to wrap up today's post. This one is so sad to me. Oh, it breaks my heart a little bit. We have two cats of our own and they're getting up there in age and it's going to be it's going to be so hard when we have to make that decision to put our cats down. I don't know what I'm going to do, but no one should have to make the decision but us. And we're both going to be there when it does happen. I think OP's parents were so in the wrong in this situation. What do you guys think about this one? We would love to hear your reactions in the comments below. I also can relate to this a little bit further with the beginning. I have a herniated disc in my bag and actually how it happened was from carrying my fat cat in a carrier and putting it in the car. So I can relate to OP with not wanting to carry her cats because of her bag. And she trusted her parents just to take her cat to the vet and bring him back home. I don't think there's anything wrong with that decision on OP's part. The other thing I can relate to is a little different. When I was growing up, uh, I was about 15, we had two dogs and we were moving. And I knew where we were moving to, we would not be able to take the dogs with us. Now, it's not as extreme because my cat or my dogs were still alive. But when I was at school one day, my mom took the dogs and got them new families and I didn't get to say goodbye and I didn't have that closure and that that really you know defines a part of you so I feel for OP not even being able to say goodbye to her cat if you liked the video please leave a like or a comment it always helps us out a lot and if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash am I the booty hole and other subreddits when they come out on the channel please subscribe as always thank you so much for watching and for listening.